alone. So, my fire from last night was not hot enough to uh, oxidise. I hope that's aluminium. If not, I'll have to fish it out. And there's a little bit of last night's log in there too. So, not the taser. Blue torch instead. And let's see if receipts are enough to get the kindling going. Mmm, receipts. Bisphenol A, thermal ink paper. Oh, look at that. The paper's gone out. How exciting. How disappointing. I have in here uh, lime and orange peel. It's not uh, dry enough to use yet as a fire lighter, so I'll keep that going. So one of the other reasons why I enjoy uh, a pomelo, um, but it's not into tasting like a grapefruit, which isn't horribly bitter. Uh, it's it's got a lot of useful rind. Strange. Citrus Maxima, not Maximus, um, is the pomelo, and you cross a tangerine with the Citrus Maxima to end up with a um, orange. Then you crossbreed the orange with the pomelo to end up with a grapefruit. And I find it very interesting when you compare the flavours of a tangerine and uh, a pomelo, which it's not it's not much compared to an orange. I mean, some oranges, they're quite um, quite tart. And some of them, they're... they're uh, this is insufficient, isn't it? I do have some sheets of cardboard in the car, but let's not bother with that. Let's just go and have uh, a bit of bit of that instead. And um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Anyway, sheets of cardboard in the car, but I'm not going out to get them because it's wet, and I've got I have the, those on, on, so I'm I'm not going to walk out in the Yes, that's right, a hobbit wearing footwear. Hmm, yes. How apocryphal. I wonder if it was just an idiosyncrasy of the hobbits to go barefoot. What if it was like, yes, the ones from the Shire go barefoot, but for the rest of them, footwear's quite useful. You know, what with preventing the cold from getting into your, to your feet and... Uh, Walking over the uh, sharp stones of Mordor. It's good to have a fix all sometimes. But anyway, that seems to be going. Yeah. All right. I think what I'll do is I'll have one log and I'll have some coal. Because at the moment, this, this wood we've got is just probably needs about three months before it burns really well. It's just a little bit too fresh at the moment. Um, green. So yeah. But this kindling made it from, from the logs and um, I mean that's burning. So I'll have to inspect my chimney at some point to see if it's... Well I know the chimney's drawing alright because if it wasn't, smoke would be wafting into my room. That's happened before, and that's that's been my cue to be like, oh, okay, snuff out the fire. I'll go and uh, clean it tomorrow. Uh, see how my energy is for the next few days. I don't want to overdo it. Yes, uh, look how quickly that bit of kindling's burning. Do you, I can see the... Um, Carbonation pattern going on there. Carbonation pattern? Uh, yes, the, the wood is turning fizzy, that's right, it's carbonated. <laughs> yeah. Pyrolyzed? Charcoaling? What's the word for? It's combusting, there we go. I knew I knew, I knew the word. The word is combusting. Oh, and I also found out. Uh, they don't celebrate uh, Christmas on the 25th in Belgium. 
they celebrate on the 6th of, of December, which the uh, Flemish have told me is the Sinterklaas, um, so Saint Nicolas, Saint Nicolas, I don't know, Père Noël I know him as, um, but because of the increasing Americanization of uh, European culture, they do celebrate there. Although my dad tells me it's because when I used to go over with him, they'd say, well, you know, Christmas is the 25th of December. They do have Christmas on the 25th of December, and you go to the church. But the actual, like, proper, you know, Christmas dinner, um, opening up the presents, and for those that bother with it, a Christmas tree, most of them just have a nativity scene and, you know, have tinsel and baubles on the windows. Um, that's the 6th of December. So yeah, and the big one is the um, New Year's and the 1st of January. That's that's the one people really like over there. Anyway, that's your bit of cultural edification done. Goodbye. <laughs>